So a very tragic event. Um, he left behind a 30 year old wife, a five year old named Roman, a three year old named Noah, and a one year old named Xander. And uh, it's been a process for the family, but they're getting through it. Um, a lot of you guys knew we were doing a Masogi event for Lion's Den as for fun. We were going to do a 75 mile ruck around Lake Nona. I have recently turned that into a huge event for Deputy Michael Milmerstadt. Um, we are making some big connections and making this a really big event. There's going to be a couple hundred people to even thousands of people showing up for this event now. And I would love to have you guys be a part of it. Um, what it's going to be is now going to be a 26 hour event. You're going to go as far as you can for 26 hours. Some of us are still shooting for that 75 miles in that 26 hours. Um, but the main purpose now is to gather the community, the family, and build a support system for his family, for his wife and his three little boys. Um, we are connected to a GoFundMe account for this. So all the money that you use to register, it's only $25 to register for the event, is gonna go into the GoFundMe account on the day of the event. Uh, we are gonna be selling t-shirts, we are gonna be selling patches that, that go along with the event. Um, Mike was actually gonna do this event with us when I told him about it. So I'm gonna be carrying his rucksack as well. So I'm gonna have my rucksack that has 20 pounds in it and I'm not gonna leave his rucksack behind. So I'm gonna take his rucksack with me. Whoever's shooting for that 75 miles, we can trade off and on as we go um, to try to complete that 75 miles in that 26 hours. Uh, again, guys, this is gonna be for his family. I would want all of you guys to please sign up, even if you can't make the event, even if you don't plan on staying for the entire thing, coming out, signing up for the event um, is a major thing. If you can sign up, this week for the event. What that allows me to do, it allows me to then go to channel 13, channel six, channel two news, all the local news channels, and I can tell them, hey, I have 200 people, hey, I have 500 people, hey, I have 1,000 people signed up, signed up for this event. I want you guys to come out and uh, view this live for the start off. Because on the start off of this event, guys, like I said, my friend was part of the Orange County SWAT team. They're coming out, they're bringing out their armored Bearcats, which are like armored tanks. They're even gonna bring in a helicopter, all right? I'm not trying to ruin any surprises, but I'm letting you guys know. Um, that way you guys know how big I'm trying to blow this up. They are bringing in, I just got off the phone with them. They are bringing in a helicopter and flying into Lion's Den and landing it at Lion's Den. They would then have someone come out of that helicopter and hand my best friend's kids, the five-year-old, the three-year-old, and the one-year-old, their rucksacks. Their mom is gonna carry and walk them for the star of the race. She's gonna be the one to start this race for us and his three little boys. So I would like to have, even if you can't do the event, you don't plan on doing the event, if you can just come out for the support of it, be there for the first hour, first hour and a half, be there for the launch, the step off. That would mean a lot to me and I would greatly appreciate it and I know the family would love to have you guys there. And it, Mike was somebody, um, he was very motivating, he was very inspiring. He was that guy that was always the hardest worker in the room. He's been that way since we were little kids. It was never an act, it's not something he developed. It was it was in his, his character. And uh, he's one of those guys that had touched many people throughout the Orange County system um, on, on the department side and, and the support we've had through the hospital all the way through the services was just amazing. And there's gonna be hundreds of police officers out here for this event. And I just want his family to know that how much we support them. Um, that's all I, I really got to say, guys. I'm gonna be posting a lot more videos on my Instagram, Rep Barber Fitness, on the CF Lions Den Instagram page as well too. So be on the lookout for that. I'm gonna be making emails to you guys as well, so you guys will be up to date. But please, if you can, sign up for the event, even if you can't make it. This way, I can take the list to the news media and be like, look, I have 200 people, I have 500 people. And if you guys can share this with anybody, um, that would greatly be appreciated. And I, I thank you guys all for the support. And uh, I want to rock this thing out of the park when it's game time. Um, as far as having a huge group of people show up for my friend's family. So if we can do this, guys, I would appreciate it. Again, um, it's gonna be April 29th. 
I'm gonna ask everyone to show up around 10.30 or 11 so we can do sign-ins and hand out t-shirts and patches if you order that. Um, come in 10.30 or 11, the actual event, I'm gonna give a speech and a safety speech at 11.45. The helicopter will be flying in at 11.55. I just got off the phone with those guys right now and we will take the first step off to launch the event at 12 p.m. on April 29th. Um, as far as rucks go, you can bring a regular backpack. Heck guys, man, I'm not gonna be picky with it. If you just wanna come out and just walk the event, you don't wanna bring a rucksack, that's fine. Again, this is for support of the family, um, but I'm gonna be carrying a rucksack. A lot of people can be for rucksacks and the ruck is gonna represent now um, carrying the weight of Michael uh, with us during this event. Um, so that's, that's all I got guys. Thank you guys again and uh, I'll keep you guys updated.